just go to use Firefox or Chrome or Safari or whatever. Um, go to admin dot one and one dot com. And your law, your use, your customer ID is your domain name. So in my case, it is. But you have, have to specify the .com, .net, .org, etc. at the end. And then your password is going to be the password that you originally set up. And hopefully, I did not change mine when we when I had trouble in class the other night. I'll say yes since this is my personal computer. So I just have to hope it's the right one. And it was. Okay. Now, uh, the first thing we want to go to is your it's, your interface may be different than mine. So don't um, be alarmed if it looks a little bit different. But you're looking for the word access. It will be under the hosting greater than sign more. So look for access. Once you find access, go to FTP account. Click on that. And there you will find the name of your account, your, your username for FTP. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. So right click and copy that. Do not copy the link, just copy it, the name. And what I did, what we did in class, is we used something like notes or some uh, sticky notes to paste it in there, um, which I can do that. There, there it is. Now, uh, the next thing we did, some of you, we had to go back and do this, so I'm going to do it from the beginning right here. Click on edit. and then go in and change your password so um, change your password for FTP I'm not going to change mine so I'll just hit cancel in your case type it in both places and hit OK I'm just gonna hit cancel what it will tell you once you type it in it will tell you that it's set or something to that, to that effect now go to domains. If you do not have domains at the top, go to your control panel. Either way, you'll be able to get to domains. And we want to go to the domain center. If you have this interface, use the domain center. And under domain center, I asked you all to set up a homework subdomain. When I first started, I said go into admin.1and1.com. Admin is the subdomain. It replaces the www. It does not remove it. It just you've added another subdomain. You've added another part, another location, if you will, to upload your files. So if you notice mine, I have one called com270.cmsurgeon.com. I'm not using it this semester. I have a 273, that's my multimedia design and production class, dev.cmsurgeon.com, hwcmsurgeon.com, that's one that we did in class. Now, uh, for the sake of getting things, you know, everybody knowing what's going on, I'm going to try to remove this one, and maybe that option will be there for me. I put there it is that's a little bit more like it there then I will just go through the steps of what to, what you need to do for setting up one so you go to new and you want to create a subdomain and as you can see it's got the blank box and it's got dot and kind of grayed out cmsturgeon.com meaning this is going to be the prefix the beginning part of it um, so I'll just put um, videos. I'll, this is where I'll put the videos. That's that's an idea. Create a subdomain. 
and then it will tell me that it's going to that it's been created. I'm going to go to my domains, hit the plus, and each one has a destination. My www has a destination of hw. That's an accident that occurred in class the other night. So I want to change the destination. Edit the destination of my website to now this is my website www.cmsurgeon.com that's all I want that's where I want it to go slash dot means that's the root www.cmsurgeon.com all the files I put in the root will show up under that URL however under the subdomain I wanted homework to be under this one, so I clicked the box for homework for hw.cmsturgeon.com. And what I asked you to do in class was to create one called hw for homework. And then you're to go with your name. And then after you check the box where it shows the domain, the subdomain you've created, you want to change the destination. And I'll explain why momentarily. Leave the slash dot and put HW. Actually, I believe it, HW would be like that. Don't don't leave the slash dot. Just leave it like that. It will create. It will put the slash dot in there. And yes, I want it to change. Here's why. You can put your files under hw dot and then your name dot com or uh, somebody uh, Marley has uh, hw dot ladies of Lee dot com or dot org I don't recall and that can be that will work just fine if she uploads her homework assignment without changing the destination then her homework assignment will overwrite her www dot ladiesofleigh.com so each one has to have its own folder created its own destination of where your files are going to go so that when we do use FileZilla you upload them specifically to that folder